This next episode of Trivia in Chief is about our 13th president, Millard Fillmore, and his love of books. Millard Fillmore was born in 1800 in a New York log cabin. When he was 15, he was apprenticed to a cloth maker, and his first formal schooling came when he was 18. His family was said to own only three books, but Fillmore became known for his love of reading. He always carried a dictionary with him. While he was in school, one of Fillmore's teachers was named Abigail Powers, who was just two years older than Fillmore. The two were later married, and they had two children. In school, Fillmore studied to become a warrior, and he was admitted to the bar when he was 23. In 1828, he was elected to the New York Legislature as a member of the Anti-Masonic Party. Six years later, he joined the Whig Party. Fillmore served three terms of the U.S. House of Representatives, and stepped down to run for governor of New York. He lost the election, but remained a major figure in the Whig Party. The 1848 presidential election, Fillmore was nominated as running mate for Zachary Taylor. Taylor won the election, and Fillmore became vice president. One day after Taylor's death in 1850, Fillmore was sworn in as president. He was a final Whig president, and by consequence the final president not affiliated with either the Republican or Democrat parties. One of the largest issues of the time was slavery, and in an attempt to reconcile the North and South, the Compromise of 1850 had been proposed, during Zachary Taylor's presidency. Taylor himself was actually opposed to the Compromise, but Fillmore supported it. Fillmore was also a supporter of the Fugitive Slave Act, which authorized the US government to return runaway slaves to their owners. Even despite his support of these two controversial bills, Fillmore did sign the law outlawing the slave trade in Washington, D.C. In 1851, an accidental fire in the Library of Congress destroyed most of its collection. Fillmore personally fought the boys and helped purchase replacement books. Fillmore also established the first permanent library of the White House. In early 1853, Fillmore sent a fleet commanded by Commodore Matthew Perry to establish trade relations with Japan. The mission was successful, and the Treaty of Kanagawa, which opened up diplomatic relations with Japan, was signed just after Fillmore left office. Because the Whigs were more opposed to slavery, his support of the Compromise of 1850 and the Fugitive Slave Act are likely why he was not chosen as the Whig candidate in the 1852 election. After the 1852 election, the Whig party fell apart, and was officially dissolved in 1856. In that year, Fillmore ran for president, but as a member of the American Party, which is also called the Know Nothing Party. During the Civil War, Fillmore was openly critical of Abraham Lincoln. Fillmore died in 1874. Today, Millard Fillmore is not remembered well. Both the official White House website and PBS call him uninspiring. The next president was Franklin Pierce. Thank you.